What is superstructure in building construction? If you're curious about the parts of a building that you can see and interact with every day, you're in the right place. Let's break down what the superstructure is and why it's so important. When we talk about building construction, there are two main parts, the substructure and the superstructure. The substructure is everything below ground level, like the foundation and the basement. But what about the superstructure? The superstructure is the part of the building that is constructed above ground level. This includes all the components that you see when you look at a building, such as the walls, floors, roof, and even the columns and beams that hold everything together. Let's start with the basics. The superstructure is made up of several key components. First, there are the columns, which are vertical structures that carry the weight of the building down to the foundation. These columns are crucial because they prevent the building from collapsing under its own weight or from external forces like wind or earthquakes. Next, we have the beams. These are horizontal structural elements that support the weight of the floors and the roof. Beams transfer loads to the columns, which then pass these loads down to the substructure. They come in different materials like steel, concrete, or even wood. Walls are another essential part of the superstructure. They can be made from masonry, concrete blocks, or even glass and aluminum for curtain walls. Walls not only provide structural support, but also divide the building into different rooms and spaces. Floors and roofs are also critical components. Floors are the horizontal surfaces where you walk and place furniture, while the roof protects the building from the elements. There are various types of roofs, each suited to different climates and building designs. Other important elements include lintels, which are beams over doors and windows that support the wall above these openings, and parapets, which are the external walls that extend past the roof slab to prevent water from pouring over the edges. The superstructure also includes stairs, which facilitate movement between floors, and various finishes like drywall, flooring, and ceiling materials that make the building livable and aesthetically pleasing. The design and construction of the superstructure are guided by architectural, engineering, and functional considerations. It must support the loads imposed on it, whether they are dead loads from the building itself or live loads from occupants and their activities. It also needs to fulfill the intended purpose of the building, whether it's residential, commercial, or something else. In summary, the superstructure is the visible part of a building that provides both structural integrity and functionality. It's what makes a building safe, functional, and aesthetically appealing. And it's a critical aspect of building construction that requires careful planning and execution by skilled professionals like architects and engineers.